In this video, we'll talk about groups and groupings inside of various activities within As You Learn. So to start with, I have a list of students uh, in various groups. I have the group set up with different numbers of students within them. Students are within multiple groups. And I have two groupings set up, one for a project called Paper Project, and one for sections, the two course, uh, the two sections of st students that were brought in using MetaLinks. So for this, if I turn editing on and start adding an activity, a common one would be forum. So if I go and make a forum, give it a description, where I want to come down and change is under common module settings this is what it's going to show up under most activities and I want to set group mode to separate groups if I want each group to have their own forum and not see each other visible groups means that they can see the other groups postings but not participate in their discussions so no groups would be everybody in the class together uh, participating in each other's discussions separate would be each group has its own copy of the forum and they don't see each other's uh, groups visible groups means each student will see the discussions from the other groups but not be able to participate in them so I can use separate groups and because I have a myriad of groups in this class I need to use groupings so I could divide this for instance by section so each section of the course brought in through the meta links would have its own forum to the discuss pieces of this so if I save and return to this and I look at my sample forum turning editing off um, this is now a group assignment so when I come in here I'll be able to search by separate groups based on that grouping of sections additionally things like if I turn editing on and go into an assignment here I have two options the most common of these would be group submission settings so I want this group students to submit as a group of students and so I can come in here and allow the groups to make the selections and then pick the grouping so for instance paper project so the students in paper project one two three and four would turn in an assignment together uh, all within just in their group additionally I can select common module settings and change the group to separate groups and so each group would see an assignment uh, but they would only turn it in individually uh, but I would be able to divide it by the group uh, when grading and things like that so most things within as you learn you'll have those options additionally if I have editing on and I go under something for instance like a file and go under settings I can come down to restrict access I can add a restriction based on group and so I can choose a group the student must be in in order to see this so um, I can say only students within the green group uh, can see that I can also do the same thing for a grouping so if I say only students that are in a group under the grouping paper projects only they could see that so that's another way to restrict pieces inside of as you learn uh, with groups and groupings